probability of life forming by chance once on Earth is, for all intents and purposes, impossible. It just is. The chances of it happening in a single event is completely and utterly preposterously impossible. There is the often misused thing about math where above a certain one in X chance it becomes virtually impossible to the point of might as well being considered impossible. And this is quite true. This is irrefutable. The problem is when it comes to the probability of life forming on this planet, it's not one event. And it would not have been a single chance. Which is where it breaks down. Because you have where it would have been a chemical reaction. If life formed naturally on Earth, it would have been through natural chemical processes that under the right conditions will happen. And if they happen in the right conditions, that will happen multiple times. So the chances of the chemicals forming would be inevitable. So what happens is you say, okay, what are the chances of it forming the right chemicals to, to end up as a cell and everything? Well, you have to ask a bunch of questions. How often in a given area can the chemical reaction happen? Like is it every second, every minute, every hour, every year, every decade? How often? And how many events can happen within a given area. So let's say you got a kilometer square of viable material in the right area for a precursors for life to form. How many times can it occur in that region and how often? Now here's where it starts to grow up because you're looking at inevitable thing you could end up quite easily with 400, 500 events every couple of seconds to a couple of years. And it's looking over the entire planet. So when you combine that, you're looking at a lot of chances over the couple of billion years that it was required before single cells started to form. And this is just here on Earth. You compare to how many planets there are in our galaxy, plus in our solar system, there are four or five some odd other places, depending on you know what they use. I've heard four moons plus Mars have possible life. So you got this many locations in our own galaxy, in our own solar system, sorry. Combine that with how many planets and solar systems there are within our own galaxy. And then compare that to how many galaxies there are in the entire universe. We start to realize that the chances of life forming, if it can happen naturally, are extremely high. Now this does not in any way prove that natural forces will cause it to happen. It just refutes this whole claim that it's like a billion, 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 billion in one chance of life ever forming. Because we're not talking about a single event. If there's one and one, one to the 10 to the 30th power chance of say a meteor hitting Earth, it's essentially virtually impossible. But if you have billions of these events every few years, whatever, yes, the Earth would get hit. I mean, it's a bit exaggerated, but that's essentially what it means. The chances of a single event happening with that number of odds is impossible. We're not talking about 
a single chance, a single event. And we're not just talking about one planet. Life could have and most likely has formed elsewhere in the universe. Our life just happened to form here. But it's very likely many planets out there with life thinking the exact same thing that we are, that they were created and it was just a complete chance and there was no way that it could not have been done by God because chances of them living there were so astronomically small. And this is where it starts to fail. This is a bad argument because it doesn't argue what the actual chances are. Because you don't have these small chances. Now, if you're going to argue against this, at least understand what the actual probabilities are. I've heard this argument, I've seen it so many times, and I've gotten sick of it. This is my response to it, and I hope maybe somebody will learn from this. Who knows?